15. Uh, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed, who correctly handles the word of truth. Um, I guess I'll do 16 to avoid godless chatter, because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. And he said, this is, this is what we need to do. And again, this is Paul talking to Timothy, but we definitely can apply this to ourselves 100%. You know, we should be able to present ourselves as workmen of God, uh, as ones that are approved of God, uh, that we're not ashamed because we're correctly handling yeah. the word of truth. We're learning the Word of God. We're studying the Word of God. And listen, if there's areas of Scripture, there's areas of doctrine we don't know about, it's okay. We don't have to know all the answers. We can learn. Yeah. But take what we know, make sure we know it solidly in the Word of God, and then grow from there. Someone starts asking us, talking about, uh, arguing or whatever, trying to present some things, and, and we're not clear on it. We haven't studied it yet. It's okay for us to say, hey, listen, I, I still need to study up on that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know... I haven't, I haven't looked at it that deeply. Hear what you're saying. I'll, I'll look at it. Yeah. I'll, I'll let the Holy Spirit show me. I don't know. I don't know if what you're saying is right or wrong. I'm going to look at it. And not just jump in with, with something. Um, and, and again, he says, you know, avoid that godless chatter. Godless chatter. <laughs> Anybody ever hear godless chatter? <laughs> you can go to the Scripture and read the same Scripture. And if he wants you to have a different message, it'll come off. Oh, yeah. He'll show you the difference between what he told you before and what he's telling you now, which is the same, but he has a different yeah. message. Yeah. Oh, the word. Yeah, because it's living and active. Yeah. yeah. Praise God for that. Praise he's God for talking to somebody else and not knowing that God's bringing you two together so He can get the message to them, but you don't even know it until later, and you're like, I wasn't looking at that. That wasn't right. me. Right. Well, and one of the areas that you, you'll find a you know big contention in the body of Christ or you know one of those that I can bring up that, that that you can see clearly is the area of eternal security or once saved always saved it's called or the possibility of losing your salvation and there's so many scriptures that people can look at and they can come with one opinion and, and so many can look at these other scriptures and they can come with another pick and they can it's like Calvin and Arminius were the two big ones in that. Yeah. Calvin with eternal security, Arminius more with, with being able to lose it. And, and I was like, man, I wish those two guys could have just sat down and hashed it out. <laughs> because I think there's something in between that they would have been able to come up with. And, and they would have figured it out. And they would have been able to then present it in a way that we could understand. Yeah. Uh, and, and basically the way I present it is this. Yeah, you're secure in Christ as long as you stay in Him. So don't abandon Him. <laughs> don't walk away. Uh, and again, w when is that point? that we walk away man i can't sit there and judge god's the judge right. you know right. we just talked about it you could be disowning him and he's still there ready to take you in so go back to him um you know i can't tell you when you've gone too far away from god just don't go away from him and if you are away from him turn back <laughs> you know follow him uh his love is amazing his his love is secure and so um, you know, and I can I can see the the different views on a lot of different areas where there's individuals and and especially when you're getting more deeply into it, it there the ideas are going to be based in scripture and they're going to be looking at scripture um, and so that's good because then we can go to scripture and look at it and we can learn from it and we can grow in it uh, and praise God from that and it, and there's some issues like that where it's understandable that people have some different ideas on it. But let's not be godless about it. Let's not be quarreling about it. Let's not go on. You know, let's let's love God, hold on to Him, and stay with Him. If we see someone going astray, let's pull them back. Let's you know, let's do that, and always lean to the side of grace. Um, that's one thing I always try to do is lean to the side of grace. 